Hello, my name is Michael, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to buy and sell a stock using the TD Ameritrade mobile app. So stick around, I'm gonna be showing and sharing my screen so that you guys can see exactly what I am doing. So this right here is the home screen that you would typically see um, when you first sign into your TD Ameritrade account. Basically right here, you'd see your balances. This is how much money you have in your invested into your stock. As we scroll down the screen, we can see all our positions. These are all the stocks that we own. I keep it in the standard view, um, which shows you the quantity of each stock, how much you purchased it at, what it's at right now, um, whether it went up or down that day. As we scroll down the screen, we can also see there's positional news and basically it gives us um, some articles related to the different positions that we own. And then as we go down the screen, we can just see they have some more market articles and stuff like that if you want to take a look at those. But first things first, let's figure out how to actually purchase a stock using this app. Now there's two ways we can go about this. I'm going to start with the typical way, which is we go up here into the upper right hand corner where it says trade. You're going to, going to click on that. And it's going to bring up a screen like this. Now, um, we're gonna be looking for a stock. So by default, it's gonna be highlighting the stocks. We're not looking at options or mutual funds. We're looking at the stocks here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for symbols, but if we didn't know a symbol, we can always type it in. For the sake of demonstration, of course, just like in the Robin Hood investing video, we are gonna be looking up the stock Coca-Cola. And we can just type in Coca, and there it is, K-O for Coca-Cola. So we click on that, and it's gonna bring us to a screen that looks like this. Now there's a lot of things here that kind of take in, uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory once you get the hang of it. So up here we see we clicked on the right one, KO for Coca-Cola, and we want to buy it. As you can see, the action says buy. Over here, the type of order we are going to be submitting, we can either do a limit, and we have some other options here. Um, I'll go over what a market order is first, as this one's pretty, pretty simple. And right down here, the number of shares we're gonna be buying. By default, it goes to 100. And if you click on these little arrows, just take note that it does go up by 100. So don't you know, accidentally wanna purchase three, but then accidentally purchase 300 of something. Um, one thing to take note of before we get into anything, and that is your buying power. Basically, you need money to purchase stocks. And the way to find out if you have anything to purchase stock with stocks with is if you come over here to the cash available. You know, these these do apply to things, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just gonna be talking about the cash available here. So the cash available, as you can see, <laughs> I have $14.75 of buying power to purchase this stock, and it's not gonna I don't have enough, but I'm just demonstrating how to buy something. So it's more theoretical here. So let's say we want to buy one share or one stock of this Coca-Cola. So we would type in one here. It tells you down here this estimated total. It's gonna to cost us $48.60. And if that's all we wanted, we would review the order. And then it gives us the information here. And then it would say, you know, this is how much it cost, and we would place the order. The market's not open right now, uh, number one. And number two, I don't have enough money in this account right now to purchase this stock. So we're gonna go back. So we just did a market order. However, there is another very popular type of order, which is called a limit order. What the limit order is, is that we are basically setting a limit to what we would want to buy the stock at. So right now, 48.62 is the actual price of this Coca-Cola stock. However, let's say I didn't wanna pay 48.62 for this stock. I wanted to pay, let's say $47. I don't want to pay $48.62, I want to pay $47 to purchase a share of Coca-Cola. With a limit order, I'm setting the price that I want to buy it at, the highest price I'm going to purchase this for. I'm going to set the price there. I'm going to say how many shares I would want. Once again, it goes up by hundreds, so don't confuse yourself there. I'm going to set in the expiration date. Basically, this means that if during the market hours when they're open, if the price does not drop to $47, this order would expire, meaning it's not gonna be submitted. It's going to go away and not be filled, and I'm gonna to have to try again the next day or whenever. And just like before, 
Same thing applies. I would come down here to review order, click that. And then if I did want to buy the stock, I'd push place order. And if during when the market's open, it gets down to the price I set, the $47, I would be the proud owner of a new Coca-Cola share. Woohoo! Now, like I said before, there is another way to purchase a stock, and that is purchasing a stock that you already own a position on. So if I come over or down here to my positions, I can actually from this menu, from right here, add to my position. So let's pick a popular stock here. Let's click on NEO, a very popular stock to buy right now. See, I have a couple options here, and I can click on to add to position. And once again, everything looks the exact same because it is the exact same. It's just a little bit quicker way to find the stock that you wanna buy if you are trying to add to your positions that you currently own. So it would be the exact same process that I just showed you. You'd be able to pick the type of orders you want, what you're doing, how many shares you want to add to your positions. Up next, I would like to go over how to sell a stock using the TD Ameritrade app. And the selling process is pretty straightforward. We are only gonna be selling stocks that we currently own. So the best way to do that is just come down here to your positions, pick one that you have. And let's pick uh, for the sake of demonstration, don't worry, I'm not actually gonna sell it. Let's pick on Tesla here. And I would come down here to not add position this time, but reduce position. And I only have one stock of Tesla. So I'm just, I would click on here, I click one. That's how many I'm, as you can see, selling. I can once again, set my limit or market orders accordingly. It would show me the price at which I am selling them. And if I wanted to, I'm not gonna even tempt myself or accidentally press a button, I would click review order and same thing would apply. It would force me to look over everything, make sure everything looks right and then I would push place order and it would sell off my Tesla position, my one stock. Obviously, if you had multiple stocks, like if I did my medical properties trust right here, I could do the exact same thing, except this time, you know, if I only wanted to sell, oops, if I only wanted to sell two stocks of that, I could do so and not sell off my entire position. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The last thing I would like to cover in this short tutorial is how to set alerts using the TD Ameritrade app. Usually if you're using a mobile app, that means that you're on the go. You might be at work or away from your home, away from your computer, so you're not actively watching the stock market go up and down. So it would be a good idea to know how to set an alert on a particular stock that you're watching. That way, if the stock price gets at a point that you would wanna sell one of your positions or it gets to a point that you'd wanna buy and add to your positions, you can do so and be alerted right away. The way to do that is to go up here to the, pretty much now consider the universal notification icon, the bell in the top right hand corner. And we just want to, everything defaults to the price and volume and active, we wanna add alert. And we need to tell it what we want an alert on. So for the sake of demonstration, let's pick the Coca-Cola share stock price again. And we have a couple options here. It shows us that we're on Coca-Cola the price type, there's some different ones we can do this by. We can adjust this according to the percentages. We can adjust this according to a 52 week high or low. Um, we can do it according to the ask price, the bid price, or the popular one I think is uh, to do it to the last price. Now, uh, we need to set a condition. So if we are trying to maybe sell a stock, sell it off a position, we would set a condition that be at or above. So if a, you know, right now the price is at 48.56. If we, let's say, hypothetically, this stock were to rise to $60 and we want a notification when not that stock price hits $60 because when it hits $60, we're gonna sell it, hypothetically. We would do this, set the price at $60 and then we would create an alert. And now, if for whatever reason, the Coca-Cola stock price during the market hours were to jump up to 60 bucks, we would get a notification on our phone that tells us, hey, that alert you set, the price of Coca-Cola right now is at $60. Now there's a couple other things we can look at here. That was the at or above. We can also do at or below. 
This might be good if we're looking to buy or add to a position. So let's say the Coca-Cola price right now, it's at 48.56. If we didn't wanna buy it at 48.56, but we wanna keep an eye on it, and let's say we thought maybe tomorrow it's gonna drop to $44. So let's just create something like that. It's gonna to drop to $44. We want our phone to tell us that when Coca-Cola drops to $44, we wanna get an alert so that we can jump on this app and potentially buy it or, or do whatever, just take a look at it. But anyway, we would input this information, hit create alert, and boom, there it is. And it shows us right here which alerts we have active and which alerts in the past have been triggered and which ones we have canceled in the past. So if we click on this, you know, maybe we want to adjust it. We don't want $44. We want it to be $45. We could go in there and edit the alert and it's the exact same thing as we just saw. And then we would edit the alert, click that again, and there it goes. Boom. If we wanted to cancel it, we just hit the cancel alert. And I'm actually going to cancel it because I don't want an alert. There it is. But anyway, that's the basics of how to buy and sell a stock using the TD Ameritrade app. But this is my personal investing app and brokerage account that I use. I find them to be fairly reliable and I like all the different information that the app provides. Even on a mobile app, you know, I tried out the Robinhood app for a little bit and well, it's good for some purposes, but I like to see the numbers. I like to be able to track things and the TD Ameritrade app allows me to do that so much more seamlessly and easily than other apps that I've tried and used. And I hope you found some value in this video. If you would like to leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as I'm gonna be putting out more content like this, tutorials and other financially related material on how to better manage your finances. And take care and I will see you in the next one.